Hi friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Train. Today's video, we are continuing this last section Crop Productivity and Modeling. On the last video, we have discussed about the definition of crop models, important terms associated with it and different types of crop models. Now, we are going to see about growth analysis in detail. Growth analysis. Here, I have given a statement that growth is a quantitative change while development is a qualitative change. Last section also we have defined growth. Growth is defined as an irreversible increase in plant size accompanied by quantitative change in biomass. While development is more subtle and implies additional qualitative change in plant. Here, qualitative change means that a change in form and function of a plant. To be more clear, I will give you an example. That is, the example of a qualitative change in plant is a phase change from vegetative to reproductive growth. Now, I think we are clear about growth and development. Next, we can see what is growth analysis. By definition, Growth analysis is a conceptual framework for resolving the nature of genotype and environment interactions on plant growth and development. In simple terms, we can say that procedure of using growth functions to explain dry matter of yield, dry matter yield of a plant is known as growth analysis. That is the procedure of using Growth functions to explain the dry matter yield of a plant is known as growth analysis. And why this growth analysis? Economic yield differences of crops depends on their rate of growth and their efficiency with which they partition dry matter to different organs. The economic yield differences of different crops depends on two criteria. First one is the rate of growth and second one is the efficiency of the plant by which they partition their dry matter to different organs. The plant growth analysis helps to interpret the plant form and function. And also growth analysis is considered to be a standard approach to study plant growth and productivity. The growth analysis is done based on growth indices. Here comes the term growth indices. Growth indices by definition means the relative growth response of the plant community to an environmental factor when all other factors are optimal. Simply we can define growth index as a means of growth measurements. Growth index means just means measurement of growth and the word indices is nothing but plural form of the word index. Now we can have a look onto the brief history of growth analysis. Simple methods for measuring plant growth were first used by the scientist Blackman. That is Blackman in 1919 analyzed, analyzed, first analyzed plant growth in terms of dry weight change through time. He also emphasized the physiological importance of the rate of growth. And he introduced a term efficiency index. Efficiency index is a measure of the efficiency of the plant in producing new material. Blackman was the first to analyze plant growth in terms of dry weight change through time and he introduced the term efficiency index. Then comes Briggs et al. that is Briggs and his co-workers in 1920s started from Blackman's idea and developed a concept analogous to the efficiency index. That is he developed a concept of expressing Plan growth curve as relative growth rate. Relative growth rate that is the 
amount of change per unit of material present per unit of time. Briggs and his co-workers for formulated relative growth rate as the amount of change per unit of material present per unit of time. But this relative growth rate formula was considered not to be completely accurate. Why so? That is the amount of new material in a growing plant is changing constantly through time. And not all the dry weight gives a productive capital because some of it may changes to structural material. Since dry matter increase is attributed mostly to photosynthesis, a better measure of the productive capital or growing material is the plant leaf. That is why Briggs and his co-workers again in 1920 suggested that an increase in dry weight per unit leaf area is more constant through time than the relative growth rate. That is increase in dry weight per unit leaf area is more constant through time than relative growth rate. From this comparison the concept of net assimilation rate originated. Net assimilation rate is the rate of increase in dry weight per unit leaf area. The net assimilation rate is a measure of the excess of the rate of photosynthesis over the rate of loss of dry matter by respiration. But the thing is that to keep a record of this observation sir, is really difficult. That is why this net assimilation rate and relative growth rate are subjected to large experimental errors. This finding was given by Williams and Watson. And they also stated that net assimilation rate not only depends on external factors that influence the rate of photosynthesis but also on internal factors. Watson in 1952 also shown that variation in total dry weight of plants is more dependent on variation in leaf area than variation on net assimilation rate. He also showed that net assimilation rate and leaf area are closely associated. That is leaf area as it relates to variation in dry matter yield is expressed more appropriately as leaf area per unit land area than leaf area per plant. The leaf area per unit land area is known as the leaf area index. Another scientist Stern and Denault in 1961 stated said that for any level of radiation there is an optimum leaf area index at which crop growth rate is maximal. The leaf area indices above the maximum will cause shading of the lower leaves of the canopy and below with which available light is not intercepted completely by the canopy and the canopy will not operate at its full potential. Now we can discuss the growth indices summary. The hard plant growth is amenable to analysis via either classical or functional methods. In either case, five key indices are commonly derived to understand growth responses. Here, five key growth indices and its functional definitions and units of those terms are summarized. First one is the relative growth rate. Relative growth rate is the rate of mass increase per unit mass present. Next is net assimilation rate. Net assimilation rate is the rate of mass increase per unit leaf area. And then next is the leaf area ratio. It is defined as the ratio of leaf area to total plant mass. Next one is the specific leaf area and it is defined as the ratio of leaf area to leaf mass. Next one is the leaf weight ratio. Leaf weight ratio is defined as the ratio of leaf mass to total plant mass.
the relative growth rate gives us the efficiency of growth with respect to mass while net assimilation rate gives the efficiency of leaves in generating biomass while leaf area ratio is a measure of leafiness or photosynthetic surface relative to respiratory mass specific leaf area it is the measure of relative thickness density or spread of leaves while leaf weight ratio gives the measure of biomass allocation to leaves that is both leaf area ratio and specific leaf area both carry dimensions of centimeter rest, centimeter square gram raised to minus 1 and are therefore not true ratios as implied by the term a ratio even though it is said that ratio they have dimensions but leaf weight ratio is a true dimensional less ratio i think from this video you have got some idea about growth growth analysis and growth indices thank you all if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe our channel